So welcome guys to this Aspen Plus course. It's a basic course just to get you around on the Aspen Plus software and how to use it and simulate maybe simple or even intermediate complex process in the real life. This is brought by you from Chemical Engineering Guys. So let's give it a try. I just want to give you an introduction or overview of why do we need modeling uh, tools in engineering. So let's see, see this right here. Let's assume we have this process right here. We have the feed, which is a NAFTA. You have this pump, it comes here, recycle stream, we heat it, then it goes uh, this way, it goes inside this fire heater, reactor, fire heater, reactor, fire heater, reactor. So let's say this is a system of fire or high energy and reactions. So once you get this, you bring it here, we cool it down, we use this pressure controller and then bring it up to this gas separator. And well, I'm not going to tell you all about, but what I want to, you to pay attention is the compressor, distillation column, the condenser and the reboiler. So uh, if I tell you to solve this, you have all, no worries about the operational uh, conditions and all, you have everything, you just need to solve it. And my question will be, what's this gas? What's the reformate composition? I want to know the rates, flow rates, and of course also the recycle flow rate or even feed to recycle flow rates. Temperature of the reactor will be, or heat duty of reactors will be also interesting. So if I tell you, you can actually solve it. Well, maybe you will take a lot of time, I don't know. Or maybe you will simply give up because it's too much. Now imagine I tell you we are working in this project. We currently have these uh, conditions and I tell you what will happen if we change the temperature of reactors. So instead of working with 495 we work with 400 and maybe you want to work with this one 500 and what if I tell you that our client is going to change our conditions so maybe uh, he got an accident or he has different feedstock and we're going to have different compositions, let's say percentages. That will mean that our mass balances will change, our heat uh, conditions will change, pumping condition will change. Not only that, the reactors will have a different feedstock, so you maybe decrease or increase the conversion. And what happens with that? That means that the whole process is going to change because you're going to need a different cooler, the flesh is going to operate differently, compressor might need maybe higher recycle rates, so that means higher energy for pressuring, and the distillation column maybe will not work as it is because we will need to change all the stages or plates in the distillation column. And imagine if I tell you I want to change only the gas separator. You will need to do it once. Imagine I tell you that the compressor we got is a old one it gets uh, destroyed and then we have this new compressor it's going to work the efficiency what's going to be the new heat duty so as you can see there's plenty of variables we cannot humanely do this by hand you can do an excel calculations yes but there are many things that will destroy our excel so for instance if we say let's change this distillator for a flash well all your calculation sheet for the excel will not work for the flash so this was a process, but imagine you are actually modeling these type of plants or this type of maybe this is one unit, this is other unit. There are separate units, but you have one simulation for each. And the reality is that a plant, even though it's made to work continuously, many times we are increasing feed, decreasing feed rates, changing compositions because the petroleum carrier is different, changing, I don't know, maybe you got an accident with the electricity and you stop and you must revamp or uh, restart and so on so the thing I want to tell you is that we need a tool or a software for this so that's the idea why process modeling simulation well essentially because it makes the work faster and not only faster but easier so imagine instead of you doing the calculations the computer will do it and will do it very very fast now, not only that, we can work at simultaneous simulations. So even though humans can only work one simulation per one simulation, one process per one process, 
we can have multiple simulations. We can't, as previously, if we change raw or feed material, we can model those examples very, very fast. Mm, it helps a lot, especially for pricing and cost, especially cost for maybe you want to uh, tell your boss that you should invest in a pump because we're going to require more pump energy or maybe you just found out that we can get, like, let's say, I don't know, maybe you have less money and you need to decrease the pump rates so these have higher efficiencies and you will want those for a future, I don't know, that's more about in the project engineering. And pricing, so if we change raw materials, well, you already know what are the final products and prices, you can already have an approximate amount of how much is going to take for utilities and for the raw materials and the plant cost. Now you can also change and model things that Mother Nature will change. So for instance, the barometric pressure or the atmospheric pressure, well, it can go up, it can go down, if there's a storm, it changes and so on. So we can do these several models and see how the drop or increasing pressure changes with respect of time. Now you can also do it for humidity. Some places start at 40% humidity and then this at maybe morning, then 60% at night and a day you have 30%. So they change in less than 24 hours. So you are using, I don't know, maybe air. Well, that's going to change drastically. And temperature changes, as I tell you, maybe you start at 15 Celsius, which is about 60 Fahrenheit, and then it goes higher, maybe 40 Celsius, which is about 100 Fahrenheit, and then night comes and the cycle repeats. So you can do this with the process simulation. So probably you're wondering who uses this or which companies use this. Essentially, I will say the biggest sectors are petrochemical because they have a lot of money and petrochemical has or petroleum has plenty of compounds which will be almost impossible to model by hand. Pharmaceuticals because it's very very critical and fine chemicals because you want to model new technology, new researches, new experiments and there is no plenty of data so you need to many times use the one you actually get from your experiments. But of course you can use it in other industries such as sulfuric acid, chlorine or caustic industry, solvents, coatings, metals, whatever you can come up to mind that has the models you are going to see in this course, you can model. So some other advantages I will see is that it's excellent for your curriculum as an engineer, especially if you are related to the process engineering, that is mechanical engineering, of course chemical engineer, maybe even a electrical engineer or a process engineer. That will help you a lot. It's a good like, letter or how you present yourself with your curriculum means that you actually take time to study these courses. I will also say it's good for those guys that have a good analytical minds or maybe brains. They are so numerical, so this will help you to understand more how to simulate processes and how processes are done maybe you will get more understanding on heat energy or thermodynamics. When the idea of the software is essentially just to simulate, it will help you a lot to understand heat exchange, thermodynamics, mass transfer, and so on. And most things, it's perfect for debugging and fixing errors or warnings. I love this because many times you go, you change the input, change temperatures, pressures, heat exchangers and so on, and then it doesn't work. And well, eventually you will need to start to getting work. So how you do that? You can do it, try it many times physically, or you can go to the software, see an approximate solution, and that will be the best and most efficient way to do that. So I'm happy to tell you that if you think this is very helpful for you guys, then you are welcome to continue with the course and let's go and see our index of content.